So I haven't gotten quite as much done today as yesterday. The, but to be fair, partly the reason for that is the, the weather has been none too good today. So uh, instead I've taken the, the opportunity to do a bit more organization of the, the shed. The in particular, like putting labels on a bunch of these like storage compartment things, the, the sorters. The, at least the ones which are themed at least. The, you know, this one here is just a random assortment. It doesn't really have a theme going. And the, I finally got around to finishing putting on the, some labels for some other things I regularly use. And I'll be honest, these, these ones in particular are the ones I really wanted to get done because these are Aldi's, the calipers and the angle finder, the, I have angle finders, but they, they, they all come in the same kind of pseudo Whalen Yutani, the Yutani, the blow molded cases. So from, from the sides or even from the top, you can't really tell which one is which. Like the, so here's an older one. You see this section here is blank. Here's a more modern one where they've decided to slightly etch in the a pictogram of a, you can't rest, focus. Yeah, you can see this is calipers. And I've done the same thing on the these angle ones here. So that's all well and good, but you can't, I mean, you can't really see that. It's not exactly clear. So, and besides the, I should do, I should do that side as well. The, besides, I've normally got them up here, so I need to be able to see. Ideally, I want to be able to see from end on which one is which, so I'm not wasting time. Now, to be honest, I've had some deliveries, and I'm a wee bit intimidated. Just, just a wee bit. I mean, it's only the size of my drill press. Yeah, yeah. Th this is this is what I would need to use to drill a forty millimeter hole. And I'm now second guessing the whole idea because in order, because I've basically worked out that I may be able to get this done by basically, basically putting choking this up to the very limits of my tiny vice and then bracing it with the like a, a very crude facsimile of a machinist jack. And this gets me just, uh, where is it, can you see it? Uh, and I don't think you can really make it out. No, you can't make it out, but trust me, this line, this line here is 40 mil, this line. So, to get it down here, I'm gonna have it's gonna have to go beyond the limits of my table. But I'm thinking what I might be able to do is use some of my other step drills first to get get it most of the way. You know, get it to like the thirty odd range, and have it choke, have it be properly in the vice for that. But then just for the le the last couple of segments, put this thing in, and try and arrange it such that this tip will just fall into the slot and pray to God that if I clamp all this down as hard as I can that this thing won't come spinning out of the vise and knock out the rest of my teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a wee bit dubious. I'm, I'm starting to think it would, well, it would be safer. If I, if I, just, I managed to find the online, the right kind of a pipe, the like 45 and a half mil pipe, two mil diameter would give me a half mil clearing clearance of this. So I could get one of the, one of those sections of pipe and then weld the stuff I want onto it. And that would be much safer. But I'd have to then, and I've already spent a chunk of money on this, I'd have to spend more money to get the pipe wait for delivery and by that point I'm going to be back at work and I'm not going to have as much time to get this done. Yeah, this sounds like an accident waiting to happen, doesn't it? <laughs>